the derivative of f with respect to x is given by f prime of x. We denote a derivative with prime equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now this is the same notation that was used for instantaneous rate of change, except now we leave the variable x in the equation and we don't plug in necessarily a single number like f of 2 or f of 3. We're looking at f of x, so keeping the variable in the equation. And if we have f prime of a, that is the slope of the tangent line. at the point x equals a comma f of a. So the instantaneous rate of change. Now if we're using a different notation, let's say we're using y notation instead of f of x notation, then the derivative is denoted dy dx. Now a few examples of derivatives. Let's say that s of t is equal to the position of a particle at time t. Then the rate of change of position is velocity, so v of t would be equal to s prime of t, or the derivative of the position. And then acceleration, or a of t, is equal to the rate of change of the velocity, or the derivative of the velocity, so v prime of t, which is equal to s double prime of t. Second example, let's say that p of x is the profit generated by selling x widgets then p prime of x would be equal to the marginal profit Now the marginal profit, we can think of that as the rate of change of the profit, or if we are selling X widgets, the marginal profit would be the additional profit generated by selling X plus one widgets. So how does selling one additional widget benefit you is the marginal profit. 